to myself. And I, I was so ple pleased when uh, this, uh, this hero said he would come out here and, and speak on uh, behalf of his shipmate, uh, Chief Petty Officer Elvin Toza. And again, I started to read the book, and uh, it's intense, uh, to say the least, but it's, it tells a, a big story, Raleigh, a big story. Uh, it's not easy reading, but it's good reading, all right? As Warren had meant closure, healing, and, and, and that's what it's all about. So uh, without further ado, uh, Natick's new friend and my new friend, Raleigh Kidder. Thank you very much for having me here, uh, and uh, it's, it's an unexpected honor, and uh, thank you very much. Um, this book he's talking about, it went back to Vietnam in 2010. Uh, I'd always wanted to see the country in peacetime, and when I came back, I said, you know, I better look up some of the family of guys I knew over here that were killed, and at the top of my list was Eldon Tozer. Uh, I was with him the night he died. Uh, he was up on the Cambodian border with me. We were patrol officers on small boats called PBRs, and uh, our main job was to be out at uh, ambush sites along the Cambodian border, and uh, that, that particular night I was back at our base camp coordinating artillery and uh, aircraft support, and uh, that was the night Eldon was killed. Uh, and I've gotten to know his family uh, because of the, this whole experience, and Jim Tesseri over here is his nephew. He grew up right down the street here, and Eldon, I d he never told me he was a Canadian. Uh, I always thought he was an American. I had no reason not to think so. And, uh, but he was here working. He needed work, and he didn't have it up in Quebec, so he came down here and was working apparently in a baseball factory. And, uh, you know, the draft was on. We, not just Americans were going to get drafted, but if you were working and over the age of 18, you could get drafted. He said, I'm not going to get drafted. I'm going to join the Navy. And by, when I met Eldon, he'd been in the Navy 12 years, and he had decided to make a career of the Navy. And his life ended uh, up on the uh, Vinte Canal along the Cambodian border. And um, the, the, the book is a lot about Eldon. Um, let me just say one thing, that uh, when I went to see his grave uh, up in Collinsbrook, Quebec, uh, it's a very beautiful setting, a small little cemetery, 100 graves maybe up on a cliff overlooking the Bonaventure River in the Gaspe area of Quebec. And I was with his sister. And um, I immediately know it was his grave because it was the only stone in the cemetery that was made like this. It was just like one of those Arlington gravestones you see if you go to Arlington. And uh, usually when a Vietnam veterans were, came home and were buried or if they were killed, uh, the family would buy a stone of some type. But in this case, the Navy wanted to be sure that he was properly remembered and they sent this stone up according to his sister Frances to be laid in this cemetery. And as an American, I was proud of the fact that uh, though this person was not an American, he died for our country, and uh, we did properly uh, remember him. And you're doing it again here today. Uh, you're, you're remembering a Canadian that died uh, in service to the United States. Uh, let me just read this uh, from uh, his sister. I was nine years old when he was born. I thought he was sent from heaven. He was born at home at night, and I heard his first cry. I helped take care of him because I was the oldest girl. He was always quiet and very interested in nature. When he was young, he enjoyed watching bugs and spiders. He loved the little things in life. During his late teen years, he lived with me and my husband and our children. I don't remember how old he was when he moved to Nat I say I was going to say Natick, Natick, however you put sorry. Natick, with, with my sister Mona, he worked at a baseball factory there before he joined the Navy. He never gave up his Canadian citizen, citizenship. I looked forward to his visits back home. And that's welcoming uh, the words from his sister that were sent to me by email last week. Thank you very much for including me in your ceremony to honor Eldon Tozer. Thank you, Raleigh. 